and is the person necessarily to be put on probation so it is is it necessary that uh, the, the the person should be kept on uh, probation for some period be it uh, three months or six months or nine months or one year uh, it is not necessary technically if you are, if you ask me it is not necessary. you can directly take a person as a confirmed employee as a permanent employee from the day one it is possible right but but uh, even though you, you you are convinced that the person has uh, a proper uh, or adequate uh, skills and knowledge to perform uh, the uh, jds uh, to be assigned to that person right yet it is better to put the person on probation uh, for a certain period so that you can assess the attitude of the individual right so so the, that is a that is a uh, chance for the employer uh, to properly assess the individual because i think uh, within this short span maybe uh, we may conduct an interview uh, to discuss with the person for one hour or max two hours right we may not be able to ascertain uh, assess the person completely so uh, the probationary period will give that opportunity to the employer's concern right so it is always better if the uh, person is put on uh, uh, probation instead of instead of directly taking him as permanent employee then the next question automatically arises is uh, uh, what is the periodicity for the probation right uh, again uh, uh, this will be determined or influenced by the standing orders right if you have your own uh, certified standing orders then definitely you would have mentioned there what is the probationary period right would be again 6 months or 1 year or even 18 months or 2 years possible or position wise the, the the period could vary right so whatever is the maximum up to that you can go if you have normally it is one year if you have a maximum period of one year uh, as probation period in your standing order then you can uh, uh, appoint a person or put the person on probation for a maximum period of one year but not more than that after one year if you feel that the person is not fit after the end of the probation period you can just release them my uh, again there you should not mention any other reason uh, just by uh, quoting the uh, class uh, which gives you the right to terminate uh, during the probation period or at the end of the probation period but just by invoking that class you just relieve that person it is possible but if you uh, uh, go on to uh, mention that it is because of uh, non performance then the liability will be there as an employer to prove non performance right it will become difficult so so you can the employers can dispense with the services of the probationer during the probation period or at the end of the probation period uh, again without mentioning any reason you can uh, dispense with the services uh, but if you happen to mention some reason then the liability onus will be on you to prove that right that that could become difficult so 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 maximum periodicity depends on if you have your own certified standing orders then whatever is mentioned there you can go up to that if you do not have your own certified standing orders then the model standing orders which will be applicable that will have the periodicity so you can go up to that whatever is mentioned there you can uh, you can uh, go up to that you can have that as a maximum probationary period and one more point here is probation is not only for the new entrant right if we are promoting a person from one position to another position in the new position you can put the person on probation that is also possible right so so whether the the, the person is capable really capable of taking up the uh, higher uh, position uh, maybe the next level assignment so you can put that person also uh, probation it is possible again it is that will uh, that will be a testing period right if you find that person not fit then you can revert it it is possible so when we say probation it is not only for the new entrant it can also be for those persons who are promoted to the next grade it is possible some companies are following that i'll move on